Hi guys, welcome back to another Sup Border video. In this video, we put together our family blog of our latest and first ever Sup family camping experience. We spent a lot of time planning this route and looking for the ideal conditions. And in this video, hopefully we're going to inspire you to find your own family Sup touring adventure, no matter how small or big it is. I will warn you that there is going to be clips of Izzy wearing a buoyancy aid and not wearing a buoyancy aid throughout this film. She is a very competent swimmer and we are happy in her ability to swim so we don't always have to have her wearing a buoyancy aid. If you want to take your kids paddle boarding and are unsure about their ability, always wear a life jacket or buoyancy aid to help them float. And also there are some scenes of fishing and hunting and living off the land. So if those sort of clips aren't really your thing, maybe watch something else. But we really hope this inspires you to get out and find your own mini sup touring family adventure. So after dropping off the boards, we had to get our kit down to the water and get it all packed on. We picked a lovely day for this. The conditions were perfect. But before we got on the water, we fueled up a little bit with a holiday pasty. We actually picked this very route because the wind was slightly off of our back, forcing us downwind all the way to our camp spot. For most of the trip, we decided to pull Izzy along with an extra leash attaching her to our board. That way she could stay with us and paddle if she wanted to, but we also didn't have to worry about her having to cover a certain amount of distance over a certain amount of time. We had our boards all set up with our dry bags on the front. I had a big, large dry bag with all our camping equipment, prawning net, fishing rod, and we also took a large cool box of some nice food as well, because after all, this was a family holiday as well. This is Ruben's sort of sup touring, uh, eating a pasty and sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to overdo it, do you, Ruben? No. <laughs> what about Izzy? Uh, oh, she's eating a pasty too, so it's only mum paddling then, is it? I'm allowed to sit down, it's a holiday. It's going to be enjoyable. And it is. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to overdo it. No, don't want to overdo it. Don't want to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> It's always good to take a pasty, docking. just in case you don't catch fish. I'm docking! Oh, docking! Woo. I'm docking! What have you got in your bags, Is? I've got some books, a life jacket and crocs. You can see Lucy was also carrying a fair amount of equipment as well, including extra water up on the front of her board. After a couple hours we decided to find a secluded beach to have a little leg stretch. It's really important to stop regularly if you've got younger paddlers with you because it does keep them a bit more interested. Of course it's also super important to take advantage of your paddleboard and finding these empty beaches all to yourselves. Family adventure, 200 degrees, no water. Do the thing like when it's dribbling out like they do on the film, so they go, ah. Go on, go on. You don't put it on the vlog, I don't know. No, just do it. Right. Am I not on the vlog? <laughs> I'll just miss. Go on, go. Uh, it's so hot. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep going. Mm. 
after another short paddle we decided to stop Izzy was desperate for a swim we needed to find some prawns for our dinner and also Izzy wanted to have a go at the first time sub surfing which we were pretty chuffed to see her catch her first wave yep. After a bit of prawning and Izzy finally finding the spots where the bigger prawns are hiding, it was time to get back on the water and go to our final camp location. Now the boards I chose for this were actually the two iRocker 11 foot all round boards. They are both 32 inches wide. The reason I chose these boards, they have large bungee straps at the front and the back and I knew I could get all the equipment that I needed on both of these boards and they were both the same. So Izzy could then come onto my board or Lucy's board and be happy being on either board. I don't think it was it. How you doing here, you right? Yeah? Look at that, that's amazing. I'm filming. Going on an adventure. I've only put a tent up about five times in my whole life. So Izzy and Lucy are in charge of this. Where's Will when you need him? Where's Will? <laughs> Luckily he's given us some instructions. Instructions. <laughs> a tent, then fire and food. I don't know if that's the right order. I can't really remember, but I'm desperate to get the tent up first. Maybe we should have tried it in the garden first. No, let's just go. Let's do oh, it. It's in, it's, in, it's in Italian. Oh no, English, English version we want. Nice view though. Campsite's busy. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> busy. No, it's really quiet. Really quiet. Mm. Right, let's get on with this. To be honest, it doesn't tell you anything actually. Well, I, I think people just know how to do it, don't they, tenties? Let's just go. Sorry, yeah, I did bring the wood. Izzy's on a uh, wood watch and marshmallow stick wood watch. Frying pan looks a bit ropey. Yeah, that needs a clean. That definitely needs a clean. <sighs> Those rocks are incredible though, aren't they? You can jump off them. Jumping rocks. And it feels like there would be dolphins. It feels dolphin-y. Well, we've already seen dolphins. Haven't yeah, we? we saw dolphins once, but there should be some more. That is very flat. Could keep paddling. But we want to stay the night. Yeah, I want to stay the night and get some food on. What have we got? Prawns and sausages. Oh, they're still live and kicking. Go up. Get them on the barbie. It's not a barbie, it's a bar. So, you're just going to turn that over? You gotta get in a one and I think. Likewise, I'll not think. Okay. Put the net down straight now. Ah, it was, ah, they're all jumping out! Ah. Alright, we can skip. Okay, go and wash those ones. Again. 
squeamish. Look away now, that is squeamish. <laughs> One way to make your child become a vegetarian. <laughs> vegetarian. There's one here down on my... Are you sure? Okay. Go and give them a little washes. <laughs> Did you actually get that? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Camping with style. Not bad. Izzy's gnashing into her first prawn, aren't you, Iz? Yeah. And time to go fishing soon. Dolphin spotting. Dolphin spotting. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to get your eye in, haven't you? Well, we definitely pick the ideal weather window and paddling location for our first family sup camping trip. All we had to do now was sit by the fire, throw the fishing line out, oh yeah, and finish making the tent. Now, without a doubt, you are gonna to have to search out moments like this, but when you do come across one, they're gonna stick with you and your family forever. My wheels wouldn't be much use for the ploughing the field, he wrote Thomas. And with that, Terence returned to his farm. Morning, girls. Oh. Morning. Morning. Well, last night was not the piss picturesque, perfect night camping. It was windy. We had a lot of wind smashing against the sides of this tent. Tent almost collapsed, but you wouldn't think it now because it's lovely and flat again. Anyway, it's going to be another lovely day. Sun's just coming up. Beautiful. Just having a lovely bit of breakfast, had our cup of tea, and then Lucy just presented me with the beautiful pan chocolat. <laughs> Which is a bit more of a flat pan chocolat. Mmm. Mm. Lovely. it and it's time we're off thank you very much camp spot lovely we'll see you another time let us get on this board and go
after a relatively short but hot paddle around the headland, we decided to nip into this bay for a bit of swimming and a bit of jumping. So after a quick jump and a swim and some food, it was time to hit the water again and paddle on to our next location. Fishing rods out, cruising along the coast and spotting deer as we go. But it's always amazing how kids can come up with something you never thought was quite possible. What's Izzy up to, Lou? Having a little read. Now we are lucky that Izzy is a bit of a bookworm, but can you believe she actually read three stories like that? Our next location was a location that I've actually stayed at in my solo camping vlog. Izzy really wanted to come here and see where I slept the night on the cliff edge, so we stopped here for our final cup of tea before we moved on to where we we're gonna get off the water and stop our paddle. Last stretch. Pizza, here we come. Now after nearly a day and a half of paddling and not really seeing any other human, it was a bit of a shock to come around the corner and see a busy, bustling beach with kayakers and paddleboarders enjoying the water. It really does go to show you that if you plan your journey and are willing to go around the corners where people don't go, you will find places completely to yourself. Busy. <laughs> But the good thing about civilization is they do sell fresh hot pizza. This trip for us did have so many amazing moments, but just slowing down and spending some good time with your family is something that is just amazing. Remember, take your time, plan your journey, and don't go out of your comfort zone too much when you first start off sup touring. But literally, the world is out there to be explored. We really hope you found this video inspirational and it's going to make you want to go out and find your own sup adventure. <laughs>